Ireland's transformation from a struggling farming nation to one of the world's richest countries is an interesting story of smart economic moves, careful planning and lucky moments. By being creative, investing in education and getting help from other countries, Ireland became known as the Celtic Tiger. This video takes a deep dive into the past to uncover how Ireland achieved such astounding success. It talks about important milestones, the impressive growth of its GDP, and the pivotal factors that shaped this remarkable journey. A Historical Snapshot Throughout much of the 19th century, Ireland's industrial landscape remained limited, with textile mills in the north, the Guinness Brewery, and Jacob's Biscuit Factory in Dublin being among the few factories. During this period, the Irish economy primarily supplied inexpensive raw materials like timber, beef, vegetables and marble to the more industrialised British economy. Ireland's economic renaissance finds its origins in the latter half of the 20th century, marking a transition from an agrarian economy to a vibrant tapestry of technology, finance and manufacturing. The 1960s heralded the nascent stages of Ireland's industrialization with the establishment of the Industrial Development Authority, IDA, a strategic agency designed to attract foreign direct investment, FDI. By the 1970s, Ireland's GDP had reached $7 billion, backed by a steady annual growth rate of approximately 5.6%. The Birth of the Celtic Tiger The Celtic Tiger phenomenon, a period of remarkable economic growth in Ireland, can be attributed to a combination of factors. Central among these were government-led economic initiatives, fostering cooperative relationships involving employers, the government and trade unions. The increased participation of women in the workforce, along with long-term investments in local higher education, played a significant role. Additionally, Ireland's appeal to foreign direct investments was bolstered by factors such as a favourable corporate tax rate of 12.5% and an English proficient workforce. Membership in the European Union not only provided financial support, but also facilitated entry into the single market for efficient exports. In 1994, Kevin Gardner, a well-known financial analyst came up with the term Celtic Tiger in an extensive report for Morgan Stanley. He mixed the idea of a strong tiger, which stands for power and energy, with the word Celtic, which connects to Ireland's culture. The term was introduced as a metaphor to summarise the remarkable surge in Ireland's economic performance during that time. However, the true genesis of the Celtic Tiger occurred in the transformative 1990s. During this period, Ireland experienced an unprecedented influx of foreign direct investment, notably from significant technology and pharmaceutical corporations. By 1997, Ireland's GDP had soared to an astonishing $79 billion, driven by an impressive growth rate of 11.1%. At the heart of this remarkable shift was the rise of the technology sector, often referred to as the Silicon Valley of Europe. Industry giants like Intel and Microsoft established a thriving IT ecosystem that not only generated employment opportunities, but also fostered an environment of innovation. Supported by a skilled workforce and favourable tax policies, Ireland became an irresistible destination for international conglomerates aiming to capitalise on its conducive business landscape. Significantly, by 1995, the IT sector contributed a substantial 15% to Ireland's GDP, with IT exports surpassing the noteworthy $9 billion mark. Educational Reforms and Skilled Workforce Central to Ireland's economic renaissance was its proactive approach towards education and workforce cultivation. Strategic investments in education, coupled with the establishment of globally esteemed universities, fostered a highly skilled workforce poised to meet the demands of an ever-evolving global economy. 
This dynamic development rendered Ireland an attractive destination for multinational corporations seeking a reservoir of adept professionals. This transformation is poignantly reflected in the statistics. As of 2020, an impressive 55% of Irish adults aged 25, 64 held third-level degrees, marking a substantial ascent from a modest 19% in 1991. The rising trend of education achievement became the foundation for Ireland to attract high-skilled industries, becoming a major driving force behind the country's strong economic growth. Recovery and sustainable growth. Amidst a sequence of banking scandals, the Republic of Ireland weathered a post-2008 economic downturn that cast shadows on the heels of the Celtic Tiger's vibrant growth during the 1990s and 2000s, a period fueled by foreign direct investment. While this era of progress saw a remarkable surge, it was intertwined with a property bubble that inflated an uncompetitive real economy, coupled with a surge in bank lending throughout the early 2000s. The initial deceleration in economic growth triggered by the global financial crisis of 2007 to 2008 spiraled into a profound recession by late 2008, marking the nation's first such economic setback since the 1980s. This downturn ushered in a wave of emigration reminiscent of times past, paralleled by a surge in unemployment, particularly within the construction sector, hearkening back to the grim levels experienced in the 1980s. In the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis, Ireland embarked on a transformative journey toward economic revival, characterized by judicious fiscal management, structural overhauls, and a rekindled focus on innovation. This arduous path entailed the implementation of austerity measures and a collaborative alliance with international institutions to stabilize the economy's course. By the year 2015, Ireland's GDP made a triumphant resurgence, surging to a staggering $294 billion, galvanized by an impressive annual growth rate of 6.9%. However, this revival was distinguished by more than just numbers. It signalled a newfound commitment to sustainability. Ireland embarked on a mission to diversify its economic landscape, bolstering sectors such as renewable energy and sustainable agriculture. By channeling investments into research and development and fostering synergies between academia and industry, Ireland steered itself toward a future that epitomised resilience and conscientious growth, leaving behind the shadows of recession and embracing the promise of responsible progress. Conclusion Ireland experienced an estimated 12.0% growth in its real GDP during 2022, primarily attributed to a resurgence in private consumption and the consistently strong performance of net exports, attributed to the operations of multinational corporations. Projections indicate that real GDP is poised to achieve a 5.5% expansion in 2023 and a further 5.0% growth in 2024. Despite Ireland's notable economic growth and development in recent years, the country has been grappling with unprecedented housing and homeless crises. The surging economy, while bringing prosperity to many, has also exacerbated the challenges of housing affordability and availability, particularly in urban areas. Stay tuned and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In another video, we will discuss the housing situation in Ireland. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to show your support. By liking the video, you help us create more content you love.